Welcome to Personal Web Tutor. Today we are going to look at a position function in terms of time, and it's going to be x is equal to 7t squared plus 4t plus 1. And I want to find out what the average velocity is for these time intervals where t is from 0 to 5 and also from 3 to 7. So we've got this function x equals 7t squared plus 4t plus 1 and it is x and t and so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in 0 and 5 for t. So we'll just say x of 0 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 1, which equals 1. x of 5 is equal to 7 times 5 squared plus 4 times 5 plus 1 which is equal to 25 times 7, which gives us 175 plus 20 plus 1, which equals 196. Therefore, the average velocity is going to be equal to the change in displacement over the change in time, which equals 196 minus 1, and this is in meters, all over 7 minus 3, and this is in seconds. This gives us 195 divided by 4. Four goes into 19. Let's see, four times gives us three remaining. Eight point seven five meters per second, and that is for the interval of three. I'm sorry, from 0 to 5. Now from 3 to 7. Let's see, we want x of 3. And that equals, let's see, our function is 7t squared, 7, 3 squared, plus 4 times 3, plus 1. That gives us 63 plus 12 plus 1. So that's 75 equal to 76. Now, x of 7. 7 times 7 squared plus 4 times 7 plus 1. So this is 7 times 49 plus 28 plus 1. Now 49, let's say that's 50, times 7 is 350, minus that 7 is 343, plus 29. And 343 plus 29 is, we got 2, carry the 1, 7, 3. Alright, so we know the average velocity is equal to change in displacement over change in time, which is 372 minus 76 divided by 7 minus 3. This will give us 296 divided by Four. And this will give us putting a two here. 
and leave two, one, forty four. And of course, one forty four divided by two is equal to seventy two. Again, keeping the units meters per second. And there we have it. That is the average velocity for that interval. Well, if you have any questions about what we're doing here, you can always go to our website at personalwebtutor.com and you can type in, I'm sorry, you can go to the website and here you have this ask a question. You can go there, click on it, in comes a form, fill out the form with your question and you never know, your question might be my next video. Thank you.